this conference is an annual event for us, and I've had a chance to participate for several years now. I think one of my favorite parts of the conference is that it really allows a lot of opinions and a lot of sharing of experiences um, for physicians from all over the world in different locations. And the topics are usually an opportunity for us to look at data in a slightly different way, so organize our thinking. But a lot of it also sort of comes to expert extrapolation from what is known. And I think in myeloma, we're going through such a rapid rate of change and discovery um, that a lot of it isn't known. So the topic that was given to um, Dr. Garfel and myself were to look at BCMA-targeted um, therapies in either the CAR-T or the non-CAR-T because it's taken us a while to find such a potent target, and BCMA has now offered a number of new products. Um, and so we discussed how, in addition to cellular therapy, which is a CAR-T therapy, we now have what are known as bispecific antibodies or bispecific T-cell engagers that are known as BITES. Um, and the mechanisms afforded to them, and also uh, ADCs, which are um, antibody drug conjugates, where an antibody um, uses its specificity to find a target cell and brings with it um, a loaded, uh, it's considered a toxic payload, which would then cause um, the tumor cell death. Um, in the bispecifics, these are single molecules that will bring together a T cell and a tumor cell. Um, again, mostly focusing on BCMA as a target in myeloma. And as with everything, we have some data in a very relapsed and very refractory patient population. And our argument, as we do start, to, there are ongoing studies with frontline designs. We don't have data. And so in moving these things forward, which one do we want to move forward? And it really opened a very interesting discussion for us about sequencing, which I think is something that comes up a lot um, in myeloma in general with the drugs that we already have, how to sequence what comes first, does that set you up for success later? Is there a survival benefit by using something up front versus a relapse setting? And so um, reusing of a target using different modalities will be an interesting point. You know, we now have these very impressive data for some of these agents where you have 100% response rate in the relapse setting, which is unheard of uh, just a few years ago in myeloma. But if we move it up front, you know, you can't get better than 100%, but maybe they will be more durable as with everything in myeloma. We expect that moving them sooner will give you longer and deeper responses. And that being the case, are we changing the landscape? Are we um, preventing patients from then having a different modality in BCMA-targeted therapies? And so it was a really nice chance for us to look at the CAR-T and non-CAR-T options targeting BCMA, bring forward maybe more questions than answers, and have a really great discussion uh, reviewing the little bit that is known, the things that we are excited that are coming down the line. So a number of new products in uh, both the antigen um, antibody drug conjugates, the bispecific antibodies and the CAR-T and um, looking forward to maybe in a year's time when we come back to this conference, having much more to review and much less to speculate on.